Beer is a real hit the world over. It usually contains malt, hops, water, and yeast. But there's a more adventurous option. Bread beer. Beer out of stale bread? One Berlin-based producer knows how to do just that. Michal Lemke uses baked goods meant for the dumpster to brew non-alcoholic beer. We came up with the idea for bread beer because food waste and sustainability are huge topics, of course. And there's a lot of bread in particular being produced that ends up being fed to pigs or put in a biogas plant. And that's a pity. So we decided to turn bread into beer and build awareness about the topic. Breweries that make bread beer aim to cut down resource consumption and avoid waste. It takes about 75 kilos of bread to make 27,000 bottles of bread beer. Berlin-based master baker Theo Kosta carefully plans how much to produce, but there are always leftovers. But not just any bread can be brewed into beer. It has to be a bread without any other ingredients besides grain, meaning no raisins, no nuts, no oil seeds, because they won't ferment reliably and make this good tasting beer. People have been making bread into beer for centuries, like Boza from Egypt and Mesopotamia, or Kvass from medieval Eastern Europe. In recent years, bread beer has been seeing a renaissance and giving craft beer brewers like Michal Lemke new ideas. He first crumbles the old bread into little pieces and adds it to the mash at the start of the brewing process. So here in the mash vat, we mix water with malt grind, and enzymes are activated that turn the starch into sugar. That takes about an hour. The special thing about this beer is that we add 5% bread to the mash mixture, and then pump the mash into the purifying vat where we separate the liquid from the solid. This liquid is called beer wort, and that's what we make beer out of. Then he adds yeast. It would normally convert the sugar into alcohol, but not with bread beer. To make this non-alcoholic bread beer, we use a special yeast that can only ferment one type of sugar, and the rest of the sugar stays in the beer, meaning not much alcohol is created. Drinks containing up to 0.5% alcohol are considered non-alcoholic in Germany. Once the beer is finished brewing, it just has to be put into bottles and it's ready for sale. But how does bread beer taste? Oh, it's very light and it's very fruity without being very dominantly acidic. I do think that all breweries should work to, towards uh, achieving some sustainability factor, uh, and minimizing their water usage, u using sustainable uh, packaging and, and like quite easily recyclable. I think especially nowadays anything that can help with the environment is a good thing. And if I can drink beer and help, then fantastic. Why, why would I not like that? That's great. The bread beer trend helps prevent waste and save resources and shows how more sustainable brewing doesn't mean sacrificing taste.